the seat of a 430 Scuderia that I've been kindly passed the keys to by Andy here. Brilliant. Thank you so much, dude. First of all, I'd like to get your take on what this car means to you and how it came about. Why did, did you go for a, a scooter here? Yeah, so it's fascinating because I had a friend of mine who had a, a Charlie Stradale. I had a, okay. another mate of mine who went and bought himself a Speciale. Right. And I thought, well, there's a holy trinity. What, yeah. What's the other one to get? Good the, call. the other one to get is a scooter here. Yeah. And it has exceeded my expectations in so many ways from, from what I thought it was going to be like to what it's actually turned out to be, uh, you know, as an ownership prospect. It's been yeah. fantastic. So from from my perspective, I think um, the way it sounds, the way it feels through, yeah. the, through the steering wheel yeah. in terms of the, the actual driving experience, it's virtually unsurpassed. They're and I've driven thing. so many different cars. Yeah. This, this is amazing. So the purpose of this video is that I have a bit of a story about my ownership experience with a 430 Scuderia. Yeah. Um, I had one for about six months, and not to scare you, but I wrote mine off. <laughs> <laughs> this Thanks is, for telling me that now. <laughs> this is a part of the story that I haven't told Andrew yet. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so this is the story about how I wrote off my scooter rear. Excellent. Uh, sorry to drop that on you last minute, but I thought if I told you, it'd scare the shit out of you. So, uh, rest assured, since then I've matured a lot. So, <laughs> things are fine. Um, Don't worry, I've written off a few guys. Okay, time, cool. So that's fine. Do you know what? I do believe, obviously, touch wood, as long as you come out of a crash, you I learn a lot from it. You do. You, you learn a lot. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Absolutely, man. Yeah, and believe me, it almost did. <laughs> So, so I classed the Scuderia as my first proper supercar. Yep. Yep. Before that, I had Audi R8, um, and I had a, a, a Porsche Cayman S as well. Yep. Yep. Both great cars, but it's not until you get into the realms of a prancing horse yeah, or yeah. something like that that you really appreciate what yep. a thoroughbred supercar is. Okay. And the Scud became my first supercar and also first Ferrari as well. Um, I, it's the same for me. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. So, first proper supercar. Yes. And I went back home to where I grew up for two reasons. I was yep. going back to visit an old friend, yep. show him the car, yep. take him out in it. And also, where I grew up, the roads there were fantastic. Yep. So I thought, this is going to be a great opportunity. Go and see an old friend, go around some great Never roads. Blast. Brilliant. Yep. And we did, and we went around, had a great day. I'm driving back home, and we went the back roads to find some yep, which great you knew, roads. Obviously. Which I knew, yeah. off by heart, right? Yeah. Like the back of my hand. Yeah. At least I thought I did. We were, <laughs> honestly, when I say this, we were two miles from home. Yeah. Um, and I was driving down this road that I was convinced there was at least another 500 yards worth of tarmac. Right. And there wasn't. Right. There was not. And I, I was convinced in my head that yeah, around yeah. here, it come around to the corner, then yeah. a straight, yeah. then a T-junction. Yeah. What actually happened was I came around the, the, the corner and it was just T-junction. Fortunately, it was late at night, yeah. there was no traffic, and I went straight on at this T-junction. Um, hit the curb so hard that the wheels yeah. shattered the discs. Yeah. Fortunately, that impact took most of the, the energy. energy. Yeah. Yeah. The car took off, I landed in a sort of half bush, half tree. Like this, full airbags went off, yes. everything. Um, obviously, if I was going slower, yeah. I'd have stopped. Yeah. The the experience was just, it recalibrated yeah, 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 how yeah, yeah. I yeah. I drive yeah. now because it doesn't matter how good I think I know a road, and yeah. especially if I definitely don't know it. Yeah, you slow down. Yeah. Not only You're... do I slow down, but I just read the road yeah, yeah. differently yeah, yeah. now. Um, it and it was amazing. a bad night, man. That was a really bad that's night. That's an amazing one. Firstly, you're lucky you're alive, which is yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's brilliant. That's right, yeah. The second thing is, it's, it is when you, and I've had a few accidents myself, unfortunately. Yeah. When, when you have that accident and you experience it, yeah. that experience, you, it just changes it the changes way in which you, you drive. It and totally changes you. You, you have yeah. to, in, in a funny way, yeah. you almost have to have that type of experience in some environment. It would be best it's to have true. it in a very safe environment. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and that's why advocating, because I've got three boys who are just about to get, get to drive soon. Yep. 
get them out into into a safe environment like totally. a, a racetrack with right. a car, yeah. and they can figure and, out what I'll happens. Let them spin out. Absolutely. It, I mean, God, because it changes your, your, your if, view. If you of haven't things. had an experience of yeah. a car breaking, losing loose control, on you, losing yeah. control yeah. of a car, yeah. because I think people's perceptions are, I'm in this secure yeah. metal box. Oh, and, but it, they and guess what? It's like a Ferrari. Cardboard. Yeah, yeah exactly. Do. Yeah, it's a Ferrari. You can handle better. You can go faster. You can stop faster. So I'm fine. That's right. Although until you're not. I will say one thing, before I hit the curb, I did shed off a huge amount of speed. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, yeah, on the one hand, I was driving faster because of the car yeah. I was in, but yeah. it did. Yeah, you I tell you what, it shaved off some some yeah, yeah. Uh, pace. But uh, God, I, I bet I hit that curb at fifty. Yeah. Um, and well, it, it shattered the discs. You know, the shattered the discs. Yeah. Both yeah. of the wheels were just written off. The car was written off. It was totally yeah. screwed. Um, so that evening, yeah. um, because I'd driven back to where I grew up, my family lived in the area. <laughs> so I phoned my dad, who didn't know I was back in the area, because I was just seeing a friend. And he was like, hey, how are you doing? This is like 12 o'clock at night. Yeah. I was like, um, I'm in a hedge. <laughs> and he was like, oh. He was like, where? I was like, as it happens. <laughs> Two miles from well, your house. Well. So he came out, and what was interesting, I was much more concerned about what he the thought. Dad's of reaction, me. yeah. Way more. I didn't yeah. care about the car as much as I did yeah. about him. And what's Dad going to think about what Exactly, I've done? yeah. He was like, you know, well, you know, okay, well done. You've afforded yeah. your first nice car. Now you've written it off. Now you've gone and yeah. binned it, you know. And my friend was in the car too, oh, so wow. I kind of put his yeah, yeah, life yeah, at risk. Yeah. Um, and for three months, man, I just felt terrible. Like, yeah. I played it over and over. Yeah, yeah. So much so that I went back the following week and I replayed it. Yeah. I went down there, like, yeah, really yeah, steady. Like. And yeah. I just went back and I was like, you know, how did that go wrong? Yeah. We, were, we were probably talking and not really but thinking you know straight. What? You know what? Most people won't do that. And that's actually a really good thing to do yeah, because then you realize actually what mistake you've made. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So. I mean, ultimately, and this is obvious, just going too fast. Yeah, yeah. That was it. Yeah, uh, but I wasn't looking back. I just wasn't concentrating. Yeah. I was. We were talking. We were talking about the car. Talking about old times. Yeah. You know. And I, and I was going. And as you well know, in, in a car like this, it's effortless. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. You can thread this down a country lane yeah, at eighty yeah. and just not yeah, yeah. think about it. Um, yeah. So I, I went back there, and I actually parked up and I walked the yeah. road. How did I do that? Yeah. You know. So bad. Yeah. Um, Fortunately, crazy. both myself and my friend were totally fine. He actually did break his uh, knuckle yep. because his instinct was to stick out his hands. Right, and then um, the airbag. Exactly, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, and all the airbags went off. Yeah, when yeah. airbags go off in a car, it's like yeah. someone's had a talcum powder yeah, bomb. Yeah, yeah. It just goes white. Yeah, um, yeah so <laughs> my Jesus dad Christ. turns up anyway, and as soon as he knew I was fine, he was. He got his his phone out and he yeah. filmed it all. Did he? And I was like, yeah. So what's great is I'm able to share it now. It. Yeah, so exactly. in this clip, I'll like in this oh, video, no, I'll be splicing it. There's fluid leaking all over the place there. It's very fluid. Yeah. Yeah. It's good luck. Yes. What was interesting, he was filming it and he was like, do you know what, the next time you buy a fast car, I'm going to show sure. you this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he was like, not laughing, but he yeah, was like yeah, quite yeah. smug about it. Yeah. He was like, I've been there, you know, don't worry, fortunately, everything's fine. Yeah. He says, but just remember, you're not Ayrton Senna. Yeah. 
and since then I've just been a more yeah. careful driver. Um, and the guilt that I sort of carried with me because my friend was there as well, he was just there for a nice time and yeah. it ended up in, 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 a, bad in a really yeah. bad way. Yeah. Um, That's a shame. But Still your mate? Still mates, great mates, and he's since I've got new cars, he still yeah, gets cool. in still gets with in. me. I've, I've got one good yeah. mate of mine who's a very nervous driver, yeah. Right. And I, he, we had a, we went on a track day, and okay. he was in his four five eight nice. in Monza. Of all places. Oh, fabulous track! It was an amazing track. Fantastic. And uh, he hates, he absolutely hates um, somebody else driving him. Okay. However, he said yeah. because it's you, Andrew, I will. I will stay in the car and I'll try yeah. and do as many laps as you go. He did six laps and he went, I gotta get out, I'm get out. <laughs> six laps is bad actually. He did, six really laps well. is pretty he did really good well. Going. Sponsor's fast as oh, well. Oh, it's a crazy, crazy really track. Fast. Yeah. Crazy track. Fuck. I've had a, um, a wheel come off on a 599 down, down <laughs> one of the straights in Monza. You are kidding yeah. me. Yeah. What happened? Uh, we had we parked it up over the side and it uh, didn't like no, it spit didn't. You thank out. goodness, because so what had happened? Oh. We've been round uh, and I'm gonna get the to get the ones wrong. Um. So we felt it going down the main straight, and we felt it going down the main straight. Went yeah. round a corner and it's like this is weird, you know. Didn't I didn't Did know what it was. Yeah, like just it was a little shimmy, yeah. Shim, okay. And so it was a little shimmy, and we're going. This is odd. And then we started going round. Uh, the two Lesmos, one and two Lesmos, yeah, yeah. and it was around the second Lesmo, the, the back just started stepping out massively, and, and then, then the, the and wheel then the, came off. Literally came off. <laughs> yeah, and basically it came off, uh, got, got, got it back to the pits, and wow. uh, minus a wheel, and uh, they, wow. they said about trying to figure out what the hell happened to it. To be fair, I'm amazed it didn't spit you out. Yeah, well, I mean, it was fortunate. And that speed as well. Because we're doing probably 270, 280 down the main straight kilometers, down the main straight. Wow, yeah. And in that car, and yeah. if it had gone off then, that's when it would have been a very, very bad accident. Yeah. Good so we were very lucky. Amazing, um, man. Wow. But that was pretty cool, pretty, yeah. uh, pretty unbelievable experience as well. So, so, what's your worst stack then? Bloody hell. Uh, <laughs> my, worst, my worst one was by far when I was 18 years old. Okay. And I'd been given a new flash car by my father. Yeah. Um, because I begged him to, because I'm a, I'm a, I've was been a car nut since forever. Cool. Yeah, and uh, it was a Suzuki Swift GTI, which back yeah. in the day, yeah. 19, 1989, was okay. a was a pretty cool, fast little rice bucket nice. um, yeah. in uh, in Australia. And Fantastic. I went around a corner, yeah, uh, on a big six lane highway, yes, um, up in the north of Sydney, yeah. and went around a massive corner, way way too fast, got it sideways over the top of the brow, because yeah. the whole car got light, went nice sideways to the top. <laughs> Just corrected it. Okay. Went Ooh, back the other it. way. Yeah. Corrected and it. And it's hit. On you. But I hit the central reservation. Spun it full 360 yeah. under the. And all I remember is the sparks flying from the from the roof oh, Christ. as it went over. You were upside down. Upside down. Oh, you, so you did it properly. I did then. a full 360 back wow. onto the back onto the wheels. <laughs> They carried on going. Fortunately, I didn't carry on going. Fortunately, the, the, the one thing was it was a it was an orange uh, going to a, an amber light going to a red light in the right. in the intersection, and yeah. I went through the intersection on my roof while all the lights around were red, and it was it was that oh split second. Wait, you know, this is like are they going to make red. this or not? Yeah, split second when everything was red and all the cars were stopped, and I literally went through my roof on uh, through the red lights and uh, survived. Because I would not have survived if no, if something had been going side the other impact, way. Yeah. one of those. Good God! It just makes you so, think. When it's your time, it's your time. Yeah. And obviously, and that was not my time. It wasn't your time. That wasn't my time. I and mean, it's funny so how good. we could both sit here now and sort of have a bit of a laugh about it. But yeah. at the time, oh, you, it, it affected me for months. Yeah. Honestly, it really yeah. did. I was well, not in a good way. Probably, I would say longer than that actually. Yeah. And and the one thing that I did do, and it's exactly what you did, which has resonated with me. Was yeah. I went back went and back. walked it. Walked I it, walked yeah. it to figure out what actually I had done. Yeah. Of course, it was speed. Yeah. I was going too fast. Yeah. But it was the fact that I lifted off at a certain point that I should okay, not have done. Yeah. Um, in a front-wheel drive car yeah. and got it massively sideways. And yeah. What is that? To do? <laughs> <laughs> we just okay. got done by a Seat. <laughs> a yellow Seat. A yellow Seat. <laughs> even better. <laughs> Excellent. So you know, yeah. so but it's but it, it teaches you, yeah. It's the it experience. Does, yeah. If you don't die in yeah. a car accident totally. like that, it makes you a much much better driver. Yeah. I think that 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 going back to it and walking it and massively driving it for me was like, you know, when the, they say 
when you fall off a horse, the first thing you should yeah. do is get back on it. Yep. Going back, yeah. like I was actually quite nervous. I was yeah, like, yeah. Shit. and yeah. honestly, I went back. It was only a, a week later, yeah. and I I went in the hedge and I picked up yeah. good rear parts. Yeah. I, I picked up bits of. So that's why you shouldn't go fast. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. So we just had someone overtake a cyclist on our side of the road. Fortunately, crazy, we were chatting stuff. to do a thirty. I honestly think if we were doing a much faster than that, might have been a bit tight. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah. Crazy. So, yeah. There we, we are. We sound like granddads. I know we do, man. It's so funny. <laughs> it's like, oh, that guy's going too fast. <laughs> yeah. But what's funny about this video is, uh, you had no idea what that I was going to tell you. Can I, can I borrow your scooter yeah. here to uh, chat yeah, about sure. the fact that I wrote a scooter here off? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> you are driving this very, very. It's, it's brilliant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I was in one of these, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> didn't work out too exactly. well. So, so uh, that's a good chat, though. It's a good chat. No, it's great, Ben. I really appreciate you letting me uh, Dude, that's drive awesome. it. It's awesome. uh, amazing. This, here's the thing. This yeah. is what these cars are for. Yeah, it totally. really is. Uh, sharing I, experience is a great thing. Love cars. I think they're absolutely amazing. I want to show good cars to as many people as possible absolutely. in my life. Yeah, yeah? yeah, totally. And so the amount of times you can get out and you can share yeah. this experience with people. Absolutely, man. The way to do it. Yeah, I, that's actually why I started my channel yep. was because I wanted to take people along for these rides. Yeah, as yeah. it were. It's right? very cool. It's great, man. And so, cool. and also, what I've found through cars is I've met fantastic people. Yeah. Yourself. Yeah. You know, it's great. Up until now, I've known you like half an hour, yeah. and here we are. I'm driving your car. <laughs> we're chatting time. about life experiences, <laughs> and it's it's fantastic. Yeah, it's brilliant. So, anyway, let's, let's try and hear the car. <laughs> it's still got a bit of that old like yeah. race car about yeah, it, yeah. you know? Yeah, it does. Pretty special stuff. Now I don't get to do this normally, so I'm gonna video yeah. you taking off up here. Yeah, do it man. Drop a car. Go for it. Buddy, thank you so yeah, much for that. Cool. That was fantastic that was awesome. experience. Uh, <laughs> really I hope cool. that that story I dropped on you wasn't <laughs> wasn't too <laughs> nerve wracking. But, uh, no, I appreciate it, and you've got yourself yeah, a, a, a beautiful car. Yeah, it is fantastic. Fabulous. Yeah. Thanks, Very lot, cool. dude. Yeah. Cheers. Awesome.